Good morning. Welcome to Sullington Church and to the midweek communion service for Sullington and Thacombe with Warming House Parishes. My name is Reverend Sarah Jane Stevens and I'm really pleased and privileged to have you with me today. The liturgy, the words for this service can be found on either of our church websites. You can Google St Mary's Sullington or St Mary's Thacombe and look under service orders and you'll find a simple communion. So this morning as we gather, we remember that God is great and I welcome you in his name. The Lord be with you and also with you. We call to mind the times that we've fallen short of God's grace and God's love. Let's remember our sins, lay them at the foot of the cross and know that we are forgiven. A moment for your prayer. Lamb, come, let us return to the Lord and say, Lord our God, in our sin we have avoided your call. Our love for you is like a morning cloud, like a dew that goes away early. Have mercy upon us, deliver us from judgment, bind up our wounds and revive us. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Father of all mercy cleanse you from your sin, strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to life everlasting. Amen. Isn't it wonderful to know that we are forgiven, that God's great glory and grace is ours? We have a reading this morning from the Song of Solomon, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. Upon my bed at night I sought him whom my soul loves. I sought him but found him not. I called him and he gave no answer. I will rise now and go about the city, in the streets and in the squares. I will seek him whom my soul loves. I sought him but found him not. The sentinels found me and as they were about the city, have you seen the one my soul loves? Scarcely I passed them when I found him, the one my soul loves. I held him and would not let him go until I brought him into my mother's house, into the chamber of her who had conceived me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Song of Solomon is a really beautiful book. It is a very passionate, very urgent love poem. And that love poem can be between the writer and his beloved, but it can also be read between us and God. And my question for your contemplation this morning is, do you urgently seek the one your soul loves? Do you run about through your life urgently looking for God, seeking him here and there, and when you find him, do you cling to him? Do you hold him tight? Because that is the kind of love that God has for us. When we're away off doing our own thing, God seeks us. He looks for the one his soul loves, that's you. He seeks you out and when he finds you, he takes hold of you and he holds you. Do you seek God the way he seeks you? I can't say that I always do. Sometimes I forget that God should be my number one thought, that God should be my number one prayer and the urgency in my life. But when I remember, when I say sorry and confess my waywardness, I am completely forgiven and completely held. You too are completely forgiven and completely held by the one who loves you the one who made you, the one who wants to meet with you here and now. Amen.
Let's join together in our statement of faith, our creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray using the response, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father God, we pray that you would put on our hearts to seek you, to urgently look for you, find you and take hold of you in our lives. May we know the soul-stirring love that comes only from you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our world in the grip of the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray for your healing. We pray for your peace and your comfort. And we ask, Lord, that the leaders and influencers of our countries would speak and be led by you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And I pray for those who are with me now at this service, that you would draw near to them, Lord, that you would hold them and love them, strengthen them to go out and to love others. Lord, may we start a pandemic of love here and now. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus appeared to his disciples and said, Peace be with you. So may the peace of the Lord be with you always. come to that time of communion and I pray that this will be a blessing to you. The Lord is here, his spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Blessed are you Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. From the beginning you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You give us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels and all the powers of heaven, we may find a voice to sing your praise. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the works of your hands, O Lord. As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embrace a people as your own. When they turned and rebelled, your love remained steadfast. For them you raised up Jesus, our Saviour, born of Mary, to be the living bread, in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arms on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends, and taking bread, he gave you thanks. 
He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is the cup of my blood, the new covenant which is shed for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Father, we plead with confidence. His sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory. And we rejoice that he intercedes for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of creation, that they may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ and build us into a living temple for your glory. Bring us at last with all the saints to the vision of that eternal splendour for which you have created us through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. And we join in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. The Book of Common Prayer tells us that if a person desires to receive communion but for reason of extreme sickness is unable to take the bread and the wine in physical form, that when they have confessed their sins they have received all of the benefits of this sacrament. So I will receive on your behalf and you are blessed. body of Christ broken for us all. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for us all. Amen. And we pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. So may you go out into this day and the rest of the week knowing that your love looks for you, and when he finds you, he will hold you. So go in the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, 
May he be among you and with those you love, now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. You're very welcome to join us at our Sunday service, which will be at 10.30 on Sunday morning, and it takes place on Zoom. So please contact the church office and you can get information there. The email is office.stwparishes at btinternet.com and we'll give you all the details you need to join us for our Sunday service. It'll be wonderful to see you. Have a great week. God bless.